My name is Chris and welcome to KZ Trapping Productions. In this video we're going to cover how to flesh and board a raccoon. Um, we're going to show you a few little tips and tricks. Nothing major, nothing serious. I'm not the fastest at doing this and you'll hear me say it a couple more times, I'm sure. But I am thrilled. Very rarely do I knock a hole in one doing it this way. The hides are clean. Um, I've had several circumstances where the coon that I've put up and brought top lot, top lot at auctions. So I know that it's done right. I know that it's an effective way that will help you bring some more money on your coons. So we're going to get started. We're going to start out by putting it on the board and fleshing it, and then we're get, or on the beam and fleshing it, and then we're going to put it on a board and show you how to board one up the right way. All right, we're going to start out down here at the bottom, around his tail and legs, and we'll get all the fat off down through here. And you can tell when you've got it off. start by going about six inches around him all the way. And the reason we're doing that is because if you do just small pieces at a time, won't have to worry about the fat bottling up on you down at the bottom. Right there where his penis is, be careful you're going to cut it out anyway so you don't have to be extremely thorough right there, but you also don't want to be ramming on it so hard that you rip a hole in it. Of course you want to do this before you do this after you've got them skinned you want to make sure you get all the burrs and stuff out of them by brushing them just keep going around it all right once you get that cleaned up down at the bottom don't worry about the stuff that gets on it. Down here around the tail, you can see it's starting to look like it's all fatty and stuff. It's not as big of a deal as it looks. Just come back up about another six inches, start working your way around. Am I the fastest at doing this? No. Is it thorough and done right? Yes. And that's the important part. I'd rather take my time and not skin and not knock a hole in them and get that extra money out of them as opposed to losing half the value of it because time was not taken and it wasn't done right. As you can see, especially on that last little bit right there, when I was going around it, the meat and stuff didn't roll all the way down to the bottom. It just came off. And that's because we started with it going all the way around it down at the bottom. This part right here, I believe those legs a little long on them. You can use that. It'll help keep it up on the board. I don't even have to lean against it right there. It'll still stay on. And you can use it all the way around to your advantage. Plus it'll help get those legs cleaned off a little bit more. Like I said, I'm 
definitely not the fastest at this. But I don't knock holes in them either. And that's the kind of crap that'll cost you money. This one, it can get a little tough to get it off. You can get a knife that shaves. Sometimes that'll make it a little bit easier. It is not a necessity. Appear and clean around these ears. On a coon, you don't necessarily have to scrape the head clean on them. If you got any kind of major fat, blood and stuff like that, you need to get in on. But that's really all there is. Let's get him one here in just a second. We're gonna show you how to board it. Alright, well, we've got him fleshed. We're gonna get him boarded up here. These are seven inch coon boards. I like to mark him so I know just how long he is if I need to. He's pretty close. I can stretch him to the next one. You're going to put your coon on with the tail on the side that has the markings if you choose to do that. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Let the head go down over it. Take your rag. Just kind of wipe him off. You want to make sure it's good and centered on the board. That way when it dries, you know you're good to go. And this just helps wipe off the grease, fat, and all that stuff that gets on them. And it will get on them. There's not anything you can do about it. Pull the nose back up over the top of the board. Again, make sure he's straight. All right. Now what you're going to do here, this one's a 2X. So, and he's pretty far up there. So no matter what I do, he's not going down to a 3X. So, we're going to take him right here across the bottom. Pull it down to there, and we want to make a straight line across here. And we'll come straight down and over just a little bit. And you, hopefully you can see it, it creates a little pleat right there. Take about four pins to get it in there. Maybe my little assistant there will pick up the belly wedge for me. Alright, we've got the bottom pin down there like that. We're going to start pinning the tail out. How you want to do this is you want to just kind of take it and then push it up a little bit after you've got it spread apart. And the tail will kind of tell you where you need to go. There's a couple of ways you can do this, but if you're going to take the time to flush out an animal, you might as well do it right. Make it look as good as you can for sale. And I promise you, taking the time to pin these things open will make your coon look a lot better. They will dry faster too in the tail area. A lot of people take them and they just use cardboard. Put it over top of it. I'm not going to lie to you, it's really not a good idea. Cardboard holds water and grease. That grease sits right on top of it. It does not really allow it to dry all that well, although it does spread it open. Let me 
just like I said, just take your time going down through here, pin it, once you get down there to the bottom. Pin it down. Then we'll come over here to this other side. We'll pin it down. And you have little pieces sticking out here on the sides. What you want to do there is grab those and pull them around so that they kind of sit flat and just kind of run straight down the edge of the board. Uh, raccoons look a lot better done up on wood than they do on wire. So kind of keep that in mind. Once you got him on the board, it's right here above the penis. You're just going to kind of open up the inspection window. Yes, you're cutting fur off, but no, it is not a big deal. That fur is not used in the process anyway, so you will not be docked for it. I can promise you that. Well, you left your legs a little long. Go up here and cut them off. Don't cut them too short. I'll cut that one bit shorter. Everything's on there, looks good. Reach down here, grab my belly wedge, and slide that in there. Make sure it goes all the way up to the nose. Straighten out there. Put a pin in it. He is ready to go and hang up. All right, well, as you just saw, we fleshed out the raccoon. We put it on a board. Once the raccoon dries out, all that you have left is taking it off the board. I don't really think I need to cover how to do that. All you need to do is just hang it somewhere that nothing can get to it. It has room to air dry or continue to air dry. But those are the few of the tips and techniques that I have as far as doing a raccoon and putting it on a board. Um, get you the most money for your first sale. If you're going to put the time and effort into it, you might as well do it right. So thanks for watching our video. I hope you, uh, you'll subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. And uh, happy trapping and uh, take care.